Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Contagion VR. So I've been asked to do free roam on the current build of Contagion. Uh, it's changed a little bit. I I'm going to give it a run anyway, just to see if there is anything new. Currently there is only, appears to be free, uh, the city, nothing really else, but going to run into it and see what else is there. So, huh, alright. Actually, before I grab that, I want to see, can I go in here? Alright, so we know that exits us out of free roam. Ooh! Was it the M1? Yeah. Okay. Somebody's not a zombie right near me. Yep. Yep, and yep. God damn zombies. You know, I always, I don't want to say grew up, but, I mean, eh, still haven't grown up yet, let's be honest. Um, always enjoyed the idea of zombies, always thought they were fun, you know, fighting them and whatnot. Let me just shiv you with that. But, not as a point, they're just annoying. They're quiet, they show up when they want. On top of that, just sometimes you don't have enough ammo for them. Feels like, I don't know, was it like zombie economics? Three bullets per zombie? Sometimes you wonder, can I even afford that bullet? Can I afford to kill this one? I want to, but I just don't have the ammo for it. So that leads us out through the main street. This will get us up to the roof, so let's see what's up on the roof. So a little bit of storytelling for you guys, a little story time. Once upon a time, this free roam had- Holy Jesus, you guys are- I was not expecting you to show up. Shit. I ain't gotcha that time. But once upon a time, this game had crafting. Or rather, I should say, the free roam had crafting. The idea was gonna be that, like, from what my memory- the idea of this was going to be something along the lines of, like, you have the main campaign, and then you would have crafting. It would be kind of like, that's why I explain it. Think like a Minecraft or Seven Days to Die, but instead of it just being straight up survival or whatever, you would have the campaign mode, and then you'd have just a free mode that just to go around and just survive. I see these guys really don't like others. Oh, I see. See, you can't get me at range, but I can get you. Damn it. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. But yeah, they, they had crafting. They didn't really... To my memory... There wasn't a whole lot put into it. And... You know, it's not to say that there was it was a bad idea or anything. I actually rather enjoyed it. And I was really excited to see kind of where it would go and what it would turn into. Um... I really don't know whatever happened. At one point, they just kind of took it out of the game. That's not to say it's never going to come back. It's just that it was a mode, uh, not mode, but like a mechanic. It was a mechanic. Shit, 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 shit. It was a mechanic that they, uh, I keep getting freaking stalled. Oh, helicopters here. Um, that they just decided not to work on at the moment. I'm gonna guess and assume it was in place of the story. They'd rather get the story done first, figure things out from there, and then once that's all said and done, they would get uh, free roam and multiplayer and that all going. There was, again, a multiplayer as well. Um, got up. Enough out of you. But, yeah, there was a, fr uh, not free roam, a multiplayer mode at one point. And it was kind of like, almost like, kind of like PUBG, in a way. Think, like, player unknowns where you had several players all fighting against each other, um, while also dealing with zombies. So, like I said, they kind of Battle Royale-ish. Not really. Um... 
like I said, it, it was very, I guess you could say, similar to the concept of Battle Royale. I, I don't know how to explain it, but um, I don't remember... Again, this is talking back 2018. This is back then, and I honestly don't remember to the extent of how far that mode went. I don't remember if when you died you respawned. I don't remember if whoever went down, they're dead till the end of the round. Shit. But... I digress. Um... For, you know, I know they, like I said, I know they're focusing more on the story. And... I will say I've had fun beta testing as of yet. Um, so far, it's been fun, it's been enjoyable. I will say that, uh... Biotech, so far, beta testing that one's been my favorite so far. Mostly because of the interaction with the devs. Um, on an, I remember, what was it? I, I remember the first Easter egg I ran into was the one with the calendar, which you guys still haven't figured out yet. Figure that one out for me, please. But they haven't, you know, when the, that one came up and I kind of jumped a little bit because I didn't expect the hands to shoot out of the wall. Um, so I, I guess I kind of... I don't know if they've always had it planned or if seeing my reaction put an idea in there, you know, gave them an idea. But after that, I remember one of the devs was like, oh, hey, um, what, what was the second Easter egg that I ran into? It was the bathroom. Yes. He goes, yeah, Nick, do me a favor. Check the uh, bathroom, women's bathroom next time. I'm like, oh, okay. Now, knowing both my luck as well as the way this game goes, you mother s trying to... Get my range to get ya. Yeah. how you do. But I remember being told, oh yeah, go uh, go to use the bathroom. I'm like, alright, check out the bathroom. Going very slow. My gun drawn and I'm like, I'm expecting a zombie to pop out of the women's stall. Like, I'm expecting a number of things. I'm expecting something goofy, like something just hanging in there or something. Like a little note, like, hey, how are you doing or something. I was expecting something goofy, right? Or I was expecting a zombie to show up. One of the two. So, I had my gun drawn on the stall. And each of them, all the stalls were closed. So I didn't know exactly... Oh, okay. I didn't know exactly which one would have the Easter egg. So I kind of just started doing like a whole breach and clear on each stall door. And sure enough, the middle one uh, kind of wiggles, and then that scream Easter egg shows up. And I actually, I, I jumped, because again, wasn't expecting it. Um, third one, I was told that at the end, when you and Bill get into that wreck, there was a, oh, I was told that you get an achievement for grabbing the pill bottle. Okay. Go ahead. Come on. I go ahead and do just that. I go grab the pill bottle, freaking hand jumps out at me. Now, I want to make clear that at the time, I don't think the grab helper was exactly on point yet. Like, I had issues with it. And so I had to get up a little close to it, so this freaking thing jumped out near my face. Again, wasn't expecting it. But it, it, overall, you know, there, like, it was fun. You know, I wasn't expecting it. Um, it was a good for a, it was good for a laugh. Um, so with the next levels coming out, I now I want to make this clear. I don't know what's coming out next. I don't know what's planned. I don't know what the next updates are looking like. As far as I'm aware, as far as I could see, they're focusing on bug fixes and just trying to get the game up to a better state. Um. You know, not to say that there's anything wrong with the game. Of course, it's an, you know, I don't, it's not an open world, but of course any game, it's going to have its issues through development. And they're mostly just trying to iron out any bugs that are still left over. That's mostly what they're doing. Um, they're going to add more content. You know, I, I think it's mostly because they're trying to patch out both the PlayStation versions as well as the PC version. Well, I'm making it sound like a... Uh, 
is multiple PlayStations. They're trying to, overall, they're trying to get the game nice and pretty, basically. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, you know, I, I will say I'm excited to see what, what's uh, going on going forward, and I'm excited to kind of see, like, what, I, I don't know what to expect. I, I'm trying to kind of get my thoughts out, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but basically, with the way this, this fuck, come on. With the way beta testing went for biotech, I'm very excited to see the next upcoming levels. That's what I'm trying to get at. Um, I've been, I want to say, to my memory, I've been beta testing since the beginning when they opened up. Uh, I There was this site, I can't remember, that we used. I logged into it the other day just to see. And the latest, or earliest, I guess you could say, whatever is the furthest back, furthest back I ever put a report in was back in 2018 of September. So, give you an idea. I have been testing for contagion since, oh, you son of a sneaky little mother. I didn't even hear him. Shit. But, yeah. I've been testing for this game since 2018. And I want to say they opened up beta testing probably early September? August, maybe? So, yeah. I've, far to my knowledge, I've been with this since the beginning. And I'm very happy to still be a part of the team. I'm happy to, you know, I'm happy to help. And honestly, I've enjoyed, enjoyed it so far. I will say, sometimes doing the same levels over and over again does get a little tedious. Um, but the, the way I look at it, I'm helping to make this game as good as it possibly can be. Yeah, I don't know if that's very, I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's very full of myself. I don't know if it's that kind of attitude, but that's just, you know, that's just the way I look at it. Um. Like I said, very excited to see what's going to come next. I'm honestly more excited, not only for what's going to come out for campaign, but I'm more excited to see what comes out afterwards. You know, are we going to see a new multiplayer mode? Are they working out something different? Are we... Hmm, are we going to see, say, I don't, I don't know, uh, co-op? Is that going to be a thing? I... I, I I honestly don't know. I'm literally just talking. You little. That <sighs> piece are very rude, I've noticed. But. Oh, helicopter's here, I guess. But yeah, I I'm very excited to see what comes out going forward. Uh. We'll see, it's very hard to talk when trying to murder zombies. You, you, you think. You think it wouldn't be that hard, but especially with how much I've done this. But is there something on her back? I thought there was something on your back. Oh no, that's not what's in the back, it's what's in your shoulder. Which is my bullet. Are these open? Oh that, oh shit, this actually does open. I wasn't expecting that. Alright. Um I think I might have made mention of it in the last video, but the M1 was my favorite gun in this game. Not because it's a great gun or anything, but because they had a placeholder noise for every time the bullets, you know, the ammo ran out. So, the noise that happens whenever this gun runs out, hold on, I'll make the noise for you. That noise. Back then, as a placeholder, it was like a bell, like I don't know what, it was a very loud ding. It, it wasn't like this. And I used to joke around saying it sounded like a cash register, and I, I had fun with it. I had fun messing around with it. Um, that was also the noise, that was also the placeholder noise for Biotech's alarm at the time when the siren started going off. That was the placeholder. And... You know, I, like I said, I just had fun with it. I thought it was funny. Um, and wor working in retail, I just, it, it was just a running gag for me at that point. Um, like I said, I've had fun with this. And 
Yeah, so far, so far I'm very happy to see what's been coming out. I'm happy to see that these guys are consistently adding on to the game as well. Even if it's like, if, like they've they've tried to add more content, even if it's small little things to each level, they've tried. Um, so I can definitely say they are definitely trying to keep fans happy to the best of their ability, and yeah, you know, that's why I'm happy to support them. I'm happy to just be part of the team. Uh, they they added a, like they added something to Biotech. I noticed, or they're going to. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm. It's not really like a spoiler or anything. It's very weird. Um, just more weird and unexpected. Now again, it wasn't a problem. I was just more like confused by it. They added a, uh, a thing for when you win the mini game, the uh, spaceship mini game. A little pop up, but it's not like a jump scare or anything. It comes up on the screen, and. Again, that's scary. It just kind of throws you off. You're like, huh? Yeah, okay. It just threw, it threw me off when I saw that. Oh, I thought that was a ladder. I was like, oh, cool. We can scale these buildings now? No. But yeah, there's not much to free roam right now. Um, oh, shit, shit. Okay. Mostly just run around, survive, kill a few zombies, grab some ammo. Don't die and get to the helicopter. And there it is. This is the weirdest rope I've ever seen. Oh my god, I made it to the top. That's pretty much free room. Look. Yeah, I can't, like, this one I can. Oh, hmm. Okay, so that one I can change. Weird, Charlie, I can't change. Very strange, I can't change these. But, yeah, free, free room I really can't change. It's only the city right now. Um, I'm going to say for right now, currently. You know what? I'm going to give you guys the shooting range. Just so that way. That way I don't feel like I. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys the shooting range just so I feel like I didn't. Uh, Cut corners with this video. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a short one. Oh, oh, I wasn't expecting to see this. Oh, thank God. All right, now let's just do yeah, sequence. Why not? Really? This doesn't count. Okay, that's bull. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need a gun that I actually can. Use effectively one that I'm familiar with. Ah, there you go. Terrible. Still passing grade. Seventy five percent still passing. Uh what else do I want to play with? Let's let's go with the AK. Let's see how I do with this one. I'm better with the M4 than I am the AK. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. M9. Let's see how I do with this one. Try one shot sequence. Come on. 
Come on, hold on. God damn it. Not bad. That was a lot better than I thought I would do. Alright, let's see about quick draw. There's something I'm missing here. What, I, what am I missing here? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? What am I? So good, and I'm gonna try to go for a headshot next. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Alright. There you go. I broke it! Okay. Uh, let's try. Hold on. Now the one thing I would like to see, I myself, I'd like to see the ability to customize your- what the f- okay. I'd like to see guns uh, customizable. Like, I'd like to be able to take the, the holographic off this and put it onto another gun. Um, I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing, but that's something I'd like to see. But again, that's just me saying that. A lot of this video of what I've been talking about is mostly just my experience, my thoughts. Um, overall, like I said, I'm very happy to have been a part of this team, and I'm excited to continue. I'm excited to see what comes out next. And whenever new stuff does come out, I will be certain to make sure to make videos for you guys, so you can see what's new, what to expect. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry, that's not really the best. Uh, way to end the sentence. Alright. But that's pretty much gonna be it for today. I mean, I, I could fuck around with this a little bit. Screw around with this, I never really used a crossbow. Crossbow, bow and arrow, bow gun, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Slink. Got him. Uh, what other toys are there that we can play with? Eh, I think, I'm trying to look at guns that I've never gotten a chance to really show you guys. I mean, this one... Oh, okay, that, that happened. This one's okay. From my understanding, it's, uh, from my memory, single fire. know if I don't think this has a the ability to change the rate of fire actually speaking of rate of fire okay so you do actually have to okay okay so that is actually manual uh, but that one's single fire there's another new one this one this one's new I I'm not a fan of it just because of this
Now, some people might disagree with me. Personally, I like the M4 better. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you like it, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think, guys. Still, get on that Easter egg. I want to know if you guys can figure out what that date means. There is a meaning behind it. I'm going to give you an Easter, a little clue. Not an Easter egg, but a little clue. It's something to do with a horror director. Very much famous. And that date involves him somehow. All right. He's much bigger hint. He was involved in video games as well. Or I guess you could say two video games, to my memory. One was a legal issue. The other one was just more of, uh, you know, he was actually a part of it. So pretty big clue as to who I'm talking about. So like I said, quick Google search. Should be able to figure out who I'm talking about. Want to see what you guys think? Leave it in the comments. See you around the next one, guys. Thank you and have a good night.